Want to bring in former Attorney General Bill Barr, who served in the Trump administration, knows the former president very well. Um, Mr. Attorney General, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Thank Good you. to have you. Um, what about this this chief argument that comes up for the president's allies and his legal team that this should have been handled under the Presidential Records Act, not this Espionage Act, uh, Espionage Act charge and other federal statutes that were used here? Well, it started out under the Presidential Re Records Act and, and the archives trying to re retrieve documents that Trump had no right to have. But it quickly became clear that what the government was really worried about were these classified and very sensitive documents. I was shocked by the degree of sensitivity of these documents and how many there were, frankly. And uh, so the government's agenda was to get those, uh, protect those documents and get them out. And I think it was perfectly appropriate to do that. It was the right thing to do. Uh, and I think the counts under the Espionage Act uh, that he willfully retained those documents are solid counts. Now, I, I do think we have to wait and see what the defense uh, says and, and, and what proves to be true. But I do think that even half what Andy McCarthy said, which is if even half of it is true, then he's toast. I mean, it's a it's a pretty it's a very detailed indictment uh, and it's very, very damning. And this idea of presenting Trump as a victim here, a victim of a witch hunt uh, is ridiculous. Yes, he's been a victim in the past. Yes, his uh, adversaries have obsessively pursued him with phony claims. And I've, and I've been at his side defending against them when he is a victim. But this is much different. He's not a victim here. He was totally wrong uh, that he had the right to have those documents. Those documents are among the most sensitive secrets that the country has. He, they have to be in the custody of the archivist. He had no right to maintain them and ret retain them. And he kept them uh, in a way uh, at Mar-a-Lago that anyone who really cares about national security, would, their stomach would churn at it. So you see this as different and separate from what he would term the Russian hoax, um, course, what we yes. saw from the Durham report. You see these as two totally separate tracks. Yes, because in the Russia, there was nothing. There, there, there was no problem or issue underlying the Russia Gate claim. It was an effort to knock him out with a false claim. Here, I think the government acted responsibly. They gave him every opportunity to return those documents. They acted with restraint. They were very deferential to him, and they were very patient. They talked to him for almost a year to try to get those documents, and he jerked them around. They finally went to a subpoena, and what did he do? According to the government, he lied and obstructed that subpoena. And then they did a search, and they found a lot more documents. And they're not even, I don't think they're even sure now whether they have everything. So they acted in a very patient way, and, and what they were met with was, according to the government and the, and the indictment, very egregious obstruction. Let me ask you this and clarify, because the, the Justice Department has wanted to say over and over again, this is not something Merrick Garland, the attorney general, was involved in. This is the special counsel, Jack Smith, has complete autonomy, makes these own decisions. But in a case of this import, and with a special counsel statute, would this have to go to the attorney general for some kind of review or decision-making process before this indictment happens and goes public? Well, under, under the regulation, uh, you know, the, the, the call can be made just by the special counsel, but I'm sure they had worked out an agreement whereby he would keep the attorney general in the loop, and if the attorney general had strong feelings, he'd, he'd voice them. But I think the attorney general said pretty early on he would be guided by the recommendation of the counsel. Now, we can't forget here that this entire thing came about because of reckless conduct uh, of the president. If he had just turned over the documents, which I think every other person in the country would have done, they're the government's documents, they're official records, they're not his personal records. Battle plans for an attack on another country or, or, or Defense Department documents about our capabilities are in no universe. Donald J. Trump's personal documents. They are the government's documents. What about the arguments they'll say, okay, when it came to President Obama leaving or, you know, President Biden was vice president when some of these documents allegedly that he's got, that's a different question. But when you think about somebody like President Obama or President Clinton, the sock drawer case with President Clinton, yes. they'll point okay. to these and say, listen, so there, there were there are other two documents. two big lies, I think, that are out there right now. One is, oh, these other presidents took all these documents. Those were situations where they arranged with the archives 
to set up special space under the management control and security provided by the archivist to temporarily put documents until the libraries were ready. These were not people just putting them in their basement. Okay, and the second thing that the president, this idea that the, that that uh, the president has complete authority to de declare any document personal, is is obvious. It's facially ridiculous. That opinion had to do with the distinction between official records, which are records prepared by government agencies for the purpose of government action, and personal documents as opposed to official documents, which are things prepared by the president, such as a diary or notes which are not used in the government's uh, deliberations. And yes, as to the second class, stuff that the pr president himself generates, the president has some discretion. But these are official documents. It's inarguable. The president's daily brief provided by the intelligence community is not Donald J. Trump's personal document, period. I'm guessing that you're not going to join his legal team. <laughs> as he's now putting together a new legal team. Well, do, you, I, you know, do you still talk to the president? Like, how is he going to feel about your public take on this case? Well, he's he's been angry with me for a while, but you know, I I I, I defend the president on on Russia Gate. Uh, I, I stood up and 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 called out Alvin Bragg's politicized hit job, and I have spoken out for 30 years about the abuse of the criminal justice process uh, to, to influence politics. But this is simply not true. This this particular episode of trying to retrieve those documents, the government acted responsibly, and it was Donald J. Trump who acted irresponsibly. So again, innocent until presu uh, presumed. Innocent, unless otherwise proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Jack Smith said that uh, in a court of law when he talked to us on Friday about this. Um, so we'll watch and see as they now get to present a defense. I want to make sure while we have you here, though, to ask you about this uh, FBI document that the House GOP has been warring mm -hmm. with the FBI over. This 1023, um, Jamie Raskin, the top Democrat on House Oversight, has said, because he's seen it too, that there was something there that under your uh, administration, that it was closed out. He said it's linked to Rudy Giuliani. You guys have had some back and forth. This is what he says now. I stand 100% by my statements that we were told by the FBI team that visited us on Monday, June 5th, that the Department of Justice team of prosecutors and FBI agents under U.S. Attorney Scott Brady determined that there were no grounds to escalate the probe from an initial assessment of the allegations surfaced by Rudy Giuliani to a preliminary or full-blown investigation and that was therefore closed down. So was it closed down? Was Rudy Giuliani connected to any of what the, you've seen. The investigation of the allegations made in that document was not closed down. As I've repeatedly said, I set up a process at the beginning of 2020 to vet evidence before it went to the open pending investigations. For their example, there was one in Delaware. Mm -hmm. Apparently there still is one in Delaware. With Hunter Biden. What were yes. You? And, and the financial transactions and so forth. And we were worried, because a lot of stuff was coming in, that we wanted to make sure what the source was, whether there was obvious disinformation, before it was disseminated to investigations, because we wanted to protect the integrity of those investigations. So the Pittsburgh office vetted it. They did some great work. They actually went back and developed more, more information that apparently had been overlooked by the FBI. And uh, they developed this 1023 that, uh, that has a lot of detail. And then they, they took it to the uh, Delaware and to other offices and briefed them on it for, for their use and for follow-up. The reason the Pittsburgh people didn't escalate it is because they weren't authorized to start a new investigation. They were simply performing a unique and limited task of vetting information that would then go to pending, already open investigations. Um, and, and again, this is about allegations that a source came to the FBI saying they had information about payments to the Biden family from foreign executives. Um, but quickly on the Rudy Giuliani point, true or false? I mean, he gets... My recollection is false. I don't think this came... Okay. This did not come from Rudy Giuliani. It actually came from the FBI. Okay, um, Mr. Attorney General, always great to have your expertise. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.